Hello YouTube, in this video I'll be discussing about a cheap alternative to the regular tap water conditioner available in the market, right? So I started with the regular API tap water conditioner, then moved to Seachem Safe, uh, which is the powder form, and then the solution that I prepared myself. So if we check the API solution, this bottle is about 473 milliliters and uh, to treat for chlorines and chloramines, every 5 milliliter of the solution it can treat 30 US gallons of aquarium water, right? Uh, for the for the Seachem Safe, uh, which is a powder form of 250 grams of this bottle, it can treat about 50,000 gallons uh, and it can, it can also remove ammonia. If, if present in your tap water and then of course this solution that I prepared myself so what's this solution all about um, this is actually a sodium thiosulfate crystals this website that I'm showing you right now Jonah's aquarium will give you details about how to prepare this solution which is made out of sodium thiosulfate crystals uh, if I had to briefly explain the calculations, uh, 0.5 ounce crystals of sodium thiosulfate will make about 236 milliliter of the solution and uh, 1 teaspoon which is close to 4.9 milliliters will treat about 100 gallons of aquarium water. So that's very very economical. Uh, the main factor, the most important factor to take into account before using the solution is to find whether your tap water has chloramines along with chlorines uh, because the solution will remove only chlorine and not chloramines right uh, so what i did is that i went to the went to check the water report of my city which is cincinnati ohio uh, i went uh, to the website of which provides information about the water report so if you check this uh, tables for the regulated contaminants and the unregulated contaminants in the water uh, I, I don't get to see chloramines anywhere it's only chlorine uh, that's present in my tap water hence uh, I decided to go ahead and start using the solution for uh, my aquarium water which comes from my tap water the next step I went to eBay and purchased uh, this particular uh, posting out here 1.76 ounce of sodium thiosulfate crystals uh, it costed me about uh, 3.6 dollars including the shipping and then I had to also buy in distilled water which costed me, costed me about 80 cents uh, I didn't use the entire gallon of water for this amount of sodium thiosulfate crystals though so in the, in the video you can see me preparing the solution for for the amount of sodium thiosulfate crystals 1.76 ounce of these crystals i could produce about 830 milliliter of these solutions right so i could produce a huge amount of uh, the solution for uh, after spending about 4.5 to 4.6 dollars now to be 100 percent sure whether this solution will work for your aquarium water or your tap water you need to perform a simple ammonia test. You can take any sample amount of your uh, tap water and add adequate amount of the solution to that particular sample of tap water. Wait for 5 minutes and do the regular ammonia test using the test strips. If there is no spike of ammonia level in your uh, tap water after adding the solution, this means that the solution is uh, good for your tap water. So I've been using the solution for over a month now and I did not face with any problem. So to reiterate uh, the certain clauses that you need to keep in mind before using the solution. The first one being you need to make sure that you do not have chloramines in your solution. Second, you need to do the ammonia test after on a sample amount of aquarium water or tap water. And finally, uh, I do not know the expiry date of the solution. But I guess uh, four to six months is a good time period uh, to use this solution. So I would recommend you to not prepare the solution in bulk and use it over a period of years or maybe one year or two year. Uh, if you stick to a period of four to six months, that'll be great. So if we follow these three rules or clauses, I don't see any reason why the solution should be a failure in your case. Uh, that's all from my side for this video. I hope uh, this information was useful to you. Please let me know if you have any question. You can post a comment in the comment section below this video. 
and uh, thank you for watching this video have a great uh, labor day weekend uh, i hope you're having fun thank you goodbye